Hey everyone, I'm Black Lightning. Detox is a scam. Detoxification, if you don't know, is a process or period of time in which one abstains from or rids the body of toxic or unhealthy substances. I've heard about detox for a long time from advertisers, but I ignored it. Not because I disagree with the claims of what detox recipes, diets, and products can do for you, I just wasn't interested in it. Even though I try to avoid unhealthy food, I'm not a health nut. <laughs> Any special diet or all natural products isn't going to entice me to try it. What caught my attention was the many people I've seen talking about detox. That there were toxins inside all of our bodies and the only way to get rid of them is by detoxing your body through various means. There was always something that bothered me about these claims. What are these toxins and does detox actually work? Our bodies are constantly filtering toxins out of our bodies, so anyone telling you that toxins are building up in your body is lying. These toxins include the ones in alcohol, food, and medicines. The toxins that are a danger to your body would be from inhaling asbestos from old homes, heavy metals, and toxic black mold. The presence of these toxins in your lungs is not going to be removed by going on a detox diet or using a detox product. Other than these dangerous toxins, your body is capable of handling the others. Toxins is actually often misused. It actually means a poisonous substance, especially a protein, that is produced by living cells or organisms and is capable of causing disease when introduced into your body's tissues. When most sellers of some detox product tell you that they will remove toxins, they usually don't tell you what these toxins are. They don't seem to give them a name. It's a word with a vague meaning that sounds serious. Some might say the toxins we're referring to is pesticides, food additives, and heavy metal poisoning, including mercury, lead, and cadmium. But none of these detox diets or products have been proven to remove them. I decided to start my research on the detox diets. This one is the most harmless. The detox diets that promote healthy eating in general, I don't have a problem with. Just continue eating healthy after your detox diet plan is over, if this is something you want to do. I don't see the need in calling it detox if all you're doing is eating healthy, but it's fine. The ones I'm concerned about are the detox diet that involve limiting protein, calories, and requires fasting. These detox diets give you poor nutrition in an effort to detox yourself. These diets will leave you with low energy, low blood sugar, and feeling nauseous. You might say, hey, I lost weight from this. <laughs> yeah, because you starved yourself for a week. <laughs> You're better off just eating whole foods that have little processing. Going on these extreme detox diets is not worth the risks that come with them. It's not beneficial to you at all. There's also colon cleansings, which is usually associated with detox. It is said that undigested foods in your colon cause buildup of mucus in your colon. This buildup produces toxins, which enters the blood circulation, which will poison the body. It's not true because the colon sheds old cells about every three days, which prevents the buildup of harmful material. Mucous membranes in the colon can keep unwanted substances from entering the blood and tissues. More research is needed in whether or not colon cleansings is good for you. Your colon usually don't require any help cleaning itself because it does a good job on its own except in certain cases. The coffee enemas can be dangerous if the procedure is done incorrectly. But these scammers want you to believe that you have toxic sludge in your colon that must be removed. As of now, these cleansing products have not been proven to offer any additional benefit. Here's where it gets worse. There's a detox adhesive pad that are applied on the skin, usually on your feet. They claim to remove toxins in your body through your skin. The pads change color due to the oxidation of the pad's ingredients when in contact with the moisture from your skin. The pads change color in mere water, which means the color change has nothing to do with your body being detoxed. If you happen to feel good after using this product, 
It might be a placebo effect, which is when a fake treatment improves a patient's condition simply because the person has the expectation that it will be helpful. The nocebo effect is the exact opposite. A fake treatment worsens a patient's condition simply because the person has the expectation that it will be harmful. The mind is truly a fascinating organ. Another scam product is the detox powders and potions. These detox powders claim to remove toxins from your body, but there has not been any scientific study done to prove that they work. A lot of these detox products seem to have this in common. They claim that their products will protect your body against detoxins that you accumulated, but they don't have evidence to back up their claims. They lure in health illiterate customers to use their products. These scammers probably don't care about your health. They just want to make money off of you. They convince you that you have a serious medical condition and only they have the cure. A cure to a condition that does not exist. The most unfortunate and confusing part about this is that detox is actually a legitimate medical treatment. The real detox is used for dangerous levels of drugs, alcohol, and poisons such as heavy metals in your body. Basically, detoxification, a legit medical term, has been hijacked by scammers to treat a non-existing condition. That's the unfortunate part of all of this. These scammers will make you believe detoxification as a whole is a bad thing once you find out that they don't do anything for you or may even harm you. I was confused for a while because I thought, at first, that detox as a whole was a scam. Chelation therapy is used to remove heavy metals from your body. Beware of these scammers selling you a cleansing. The only thing they're cleansing is your wallet. <laughs> if you want to be healthy, eat whole foods with little processing and exercise. Don't settle for gimmicks. Work hard and it will pay off. I know I don't eat healthy or exercise daily, but what I'm saying is still valid. If you say it's not valid because I'm not living a healthy lifestyle, that's a two quack way logical fallacy. Ha! <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching and take care.